Well, guys, we have another Tales Tube. Tales Tube, we get huge Sonic lore revelations. We typically learn a lot of different things. They usually have the writers of the franchise do some lore dumps and stuff like that. There's a lot to get into, so subscribe to the channel. With all notifications, I'll give you a second. And let's get into it. So it says right here in this episode of Tails Tube, Sonic and Shadow go hedge to hedge in an intensive interview with Tails. As you all know, it is the fearless year of Shadow. So basically every single Sega marketing campaign for Sonic this year will probably have some involvement for Shadow the Hedgehog. We're going to be getting a brand new game called Sonic and Shadow Generations, which is actually going to explore the backstory of Shadow for the first time in almost like 20 years. We're gonna get a dive into Shadow's past. We're gonna see stuff like Black Doom play a prominent role for the first time since the spinoff Shadow game. A lot to look forward to, so hopefully this Tales Tube will have a glimpse of what the writing will be like in, you know, voice direction and everything like that for the new Shadow game. So we'll check it out. Maybe there'll be some lore dumps. There's definitely gonna be some lore dumps. People may be mad. People may be sad. It doesn't matter, because we're gonna react. Oh, we're live. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. You know, I've met an awful lot of hedgehogs through the years. They all have such unique personalities and... He's only met, like, two. Right? Shadow, Sonic, Silver. Fascinating perspectives. It got me thinking. Why not in Oh, Amy's a hedgehog too. Wait. Hello. Invite some of them onto my show and get to know each other better. So with that in mind, I'd like to welcome you to a new segment I'm calling Between Two Hedge Hogs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're here for it. To start us off, I'd like to introduce the two fastest guys I know. Sonic hey! and Shadow. Let's get this over with. <laughs> See, when you pitched this thing to me, Tails, I thought we were going to be talking about Shadow. Like, out of earshot. If you have anything to say, you can say it to my face. Oh, they're already about to fight. They're already scrapping. Unless you're afraid. Uh, so the topic for today is making amends. You know, burying the hatchet. I don't know, buddy. We never really got along. From the moment we met, we've been at odds. Honestly, though, I mean... They've always been at odds. I feel like, you know, SA2, they did fight in Heroes, but I feel like their dynamic in Shadow 05, if you consider the canon ending, was pretty good. And also, I feel like their dynamic in 06 was pretty good. I mean, it was, they weren't like best friends, but I thought they had a pretty good dynamic in those games. I didn't think it was all, uh, they don't think it was all fighting. I mean, yeah, at Sonic Battle, they kind of fought. I mean, maybe they're right. We're polar opposites. I don't know. I think my magnetic personality is quite attractive. And yet when you're near me, I feel repulsed. But that's crazy. They say opposites attract. And I feel like all right, I feel like they're going a little over the top with like, oh, I don't like you, I hate you. Like I don't know. You guys have put aside your differences and saved the world. Like how you two put the ark back into orbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were pretty clutch back there. I was surprised you could turn super too. Anything you can do. I can do better. Ah, he's being a little edgy, though. See, you two can get along. Sort of. Yeah, until he jumped us during the next adventure. You were in our way. You're so fast. You should have just quickly moved aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate sort loser says what? What? <laughs> Tails, he's spouting gibberish and laughing at nothing. I think what he's trying to say is... Despite the rocky reunion, you two came together again to save the day. That's well, true. Hold on. We all came together to save the day. It no. It was literally just Team Sonic. Everyone else was... Actually, I mean, the other ones fought Metal Overlord, but Team Sonic was the one that finished the job. It wasn't just me and Shadow. Yes. It was for the common good. Ah, so you're in agreement. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Uh... There's no <laughs> denying you two have fought more often than not. Which oh, they got, they got Prime up there. Hello. People who don't like Prime. People don't say Prime is canon. There it is. There it is. It means you've gotten to know each other through your battles. So here's the ultimate challenge for you. Say one positive thing about each other. Ugh. Oh, well, if it's too hard for you. I am the ultimate life form. Nothing is impossible for me. Anything you can do, I can do better. Prove <laughs> oh my it. god, he's trying to make fun of him. I do feel like Roger Craig Smith could actually play a really good Shadow, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I feel like he he, he could be a good Shadow. All right. Well, ugh. Mm. Okay, so I'll admit it. Your chaos control technique is really cool. Warping around in a split second rocks. Hmm. Sonic can do it too, yes. though. Well, 
with a fake emerald. I was very impressed you could do it as well. No, oh, there we go. Weaker, fake chaos emerald, no less. It was a truly impressive feat. Aw, see? That's true. We there it is. Respect each other. We rarely see eye to eye, but you do stick to your principles. You do things your way, and I can't fault you for that. Yes. Friendship achieved. Friendship? <laughs> if he gets in my way, I'll crush him like any other. Mm. I'll try, faker, but I'll show you who's the best next time. Wow, he's he hit him with the faker. Go down. Mm. There's no time like the present, Blue Hedgehog. Race across the island, coast to coast. Okay. You're on. Very well. Try to keep up. Chaos control! Hey, that's cheating! Wow, he did cheat though. Well, at least we've proved that they can get along momentarily. That's one small step in the right direction. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Tales Tube. That was the Sonic and Shadow Tales Tube, so maybe they'll be ramping up more episodes, especially for Sonic and Shadow Generation. As you guys know, this is the year of Shadow, the fearless year of Shadow. Uh, I will say from the outset, I mean, I, I'm not really like a terribly impressed with the way Shadow was written in this, to be honest. I feel like he's just kind of being edgy for the sake of being edgy once again. There's still like a charming dynamic here and there. Like I like when Shadow kind of like cracks somewhat of a personality, if that makes sense. And I feel like that's definitely in this. But also, I just feel like he's just like mad and angry for no reason. I don't know what it is. I can't really put my hand on it. But the best Shadow we've ever seen was probably Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic 06. And when you think of those games, you think of Shadow as someone that is an extreme extremely likable character, right? I mean, maybe it's the voice acting, maybe it's the voice direction. I don't know exactly what it is, but when I listen to this new Shadow, it feels like it's just like a completely different Shadow. It feels like they're kind of missing the mark as to what the character used to be like. It feels like in this new Tales Tube, he's kind of just angry to be angry, but in the older games, it wasn't like Shadow was fighting people just for simply no reason. Like he always had some type of reason to be upset, but it seems like his personality was not forced in these other games. Whereas when I'm watching the Tales Tube, it just feels like they're kind of forcing the Shadow personality. I don't know if you guys get the same vibe that i'm getting it's literally just meant to be a fun little thing for us as fans to like enjoy but then again i'd like to see shadow written a little bit more like 06 and sa2 when we see the new shadow game and we'll see what the dynamic is between him and sonic if there is any i don't know if shadow is going to be actually featured with sonic in the game or if it's just a shadow solo campaign but we'll have to wait and see last thing i'll say is in uh, sonic adventure 2 when you hear david humphrey as shadow say i'm the coolest it's like you really felt that if this version of Shadow said that, it would just feel like force and cringe. Like, everything about Shadow really was cool back then. But there are good dynamics between Sonic and Shadow in this. I did like the ending where he actually, like, challenged Sonic to a race and it was a little bit more friendly between the two. You know, it wasn't just like, oh, I hate you for no reason. So, we'll see what happens with the new Sonic and Shadow game. That's my analysis of the Tales Tube. Let me know what you guys thought about it. It was nice to see. Hopefully, we get more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.